at com, and some of you may have heard by now that Drew X2 has officially, unofficially gotten signage in my 10.1 booting and working sort of on the Droid DNA. Uh, so it's very difficult to get it fully functional on this device because we currently I have security on. So we have an unlocked bootloader, but we do have security on. Go ahead and show you guys how to install it. It's actually pretty simple, um, not very difficult at all. All we're going to have to do is flash a boot image, and then we'll flash the actual ROM in recovery. So pretty simple stuff. You must be unlocked, so your bootloader has to be unlocked. You need Team Win Recovery Project. Don't try to install this with Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, it's designed to be flashed in Team Win Recovery Project. So just a heads up with that, and then you need to be rooted, obviously. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you want to do is boot your phone into bootloader mode. So we'll hold down the power button and press restart and restart again. And then we'll go ahead and press volume down as soon as this screen disappears. Okay, so once we are at this screen, uh, we're going to select fast boot and press the power button. Of course, we do need to plug in our USB cable. We can set this to the side and go to the computer. Okay, so you will want to find the folder where you have your uh, boot image. It's cm10-dna-boot-image. So find that folder. It could be in your download folder or if you've placed it in a separate folder. And uh, you'll go into that folder, press shift on the keyboard, and right-click open command window here. The command that you want to type is fast boot flash boot and then it's going to be cm10 dash dna dash boot dot img and we'll just double check and make sure that that is correct and it is and then we'll hit enter okay so our kernel is now flashed we can exit out of this and go back to the phone Okay, so from here we'll highlight bootloader and select power and then we'll go down to recovery and select power again. That's going to boot us into Team Win Recovery Project. Okay, so from Team Win Recovery Project we're just going to install our ROM like normal. So we'll go to wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe, go back, cache, swipe to wipe, back, Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe, back, then back again, install. We're looking for CM10, uh, unofficial. The latest build is from February 3rd. He is currently working on another build, uh, but for now, February 3rd is the latest build. So go ahead and flash that. Be sure that that is what you're flashing. And we'll just give this a few minutes to finish up, and then we'll reboot the device. Okay, so after just a couple of minutes, you should get this successful and uh, once you do, you'll just reboot system. We're not going to flash any G apps or anything because uh, Wi-Fi and data are not working, so they'd kind of be useless even if we did have them. It's kind of a proof of concept for now. It does boot, and uh, you can get through the home screens. You can get through the settings. Everything's working, just we don't have any Wi-Fi. Uh, we don't have data, so it's really not functional as a daily driver. But it is nice to see that the development is working and developers like Drew X2 are currently working on CyanogenMod 10.1 for the Droid DNA. So guys, that has been how to install CyanogenMod 10.1 unofficial uh, for the Droid DNA. And be sure that you are subscribed to this channel. I'll keep you guys updated when newer builds are out and if it ever comes to be official, you guys will be the first to know. Uh, once we get a fully working build of CyanogenMod 10, that's when all of our ROMs theoretically should start flooding in for this device. All we really need is Wi-Fi and data for this to really become more of a daily driver. But anyways guys, you can check me out at DroidModRx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModRx. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Samsung Galaxy S3. This is Jellybean 4.1.2. It's VR BMA number 2.